All right, captains, we're back. We got a good one in store for you this week. And I'll tell you what, before we start, we got to get a selfie. Well, thankfully, the boat ramp's not too busy this morning. He can do all the selfies he wants to while he's backing up. Maybe he's doing one of them TikToks, you know, where he's got the music in the background singing, I'm on a boat, I'm on a boat, everybody look at me because I'm sailing on a boat. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Well, it's time for him to pop the top and get that shirt off, and he's getting ready to do the rest of his selfie here. Because you know the ladies love the selfies. Sunglasses in order, hat on right. All right, well, he's going to finish up his music video here, and I believe he's on that part of the ballad where he's talking about he's riding on a dolphin doing flips and shit. Now, if that was me, I'd be doing the same thing, telling all my friends, listen, y'all could have been out here on the boat, but y'all can't get up at 7 in the morning and come out here. And that's all right, because I don't want you on my boat anyway. But me, I'm sitting over here on the dock filming this. Oh, holy hell, he's still doing selfies. This must be like one of them Instagram reels or something. Well, thankfully, I ain't got nothing else to film. It's real early in the morning, and ain't nobody else here yet. All the people in New Smyrna like to get here right around 9 o'clock at the same time. And right on target, here we go. This one's a fun one. This one's as straight as can be, and then she gets in there, and it gets all sideways and cockeyed. He does the old stance there. Are you going to back me in or what? Now, don't forget, this one started out pretty straight. I still don't know how they got in this position, but hey, we're here. Now she gets it straightened back up and squared away, and they get this thing back down. Now at this point, I don't know what he started the motor for. I don't know, maybe just to warm it up or something. Now you seasoned captains know she's got the wheel cocked right now. She wants to get that boat over to the left and that's what she's doing. And if you'd like a credit card captain tip, the easiest way to do it is put your hand down at the bottom of the steering wheel. When you look in the mirrors, if you want your trailer to go left, move the bottom of the steering wheel to the left. Now once you learn that technique, then you won't have these brain breakdowns like we're having here. Now, when the motor covers off, you know it's not going to be a good day. You can tinker with it all day long, but if you're at the ramp and it's having troubles, as soon as you get out there, you're going to have troubles. Now, you know I'd love to go give him a hand with this motor here, but I don't have a spare two-stroke 50 sitting around. Well, they're going to make it out there and get, nope, they're just coming right back in. That's how it goes when you tinker with the boat motor at the boat ramp. It's over. Now this captain was nice of him to get him back in here. And this guy's holding onto the rope. Nice and easy right there. Going to get him some rope burn. There you go. Well, they're going to get... Oh, they're going to get tied off, Captain wants his rope. They're going to tinker with it some more, and this sea pro is going to piss all over him with that very erect spray. There he goes. I think he identifies as a jet ski. Now this one here is a tribute to all those boat people that are in the boat fails on Facebook. I'll tell you right now, you guys love straps, well this guy kept the straps on all the way down into the water. Y'all enjoy.
Well, you guys know the show ain't over yet. He's got to get out and take his winch hook off there. At least the music's not bad. It makes me feel like I'm down in the Bahamas. Now, I'm generally curious how y'all captains do it. I generally do it when I'm up there on the flat part of the boat ramp if I have someone in the boat that's going to back it down for me. Shoot, I don't know if I'm right or not, but maybe I'll end up one boat fails one of these days as well. All right, we've got this one coming in here. This is a nice edge water here. We got 250 on the back. I got a whole slew of videos coming up with female captains here in the near future. So if you want to see some of them, like and subscribe. Nice and easy there. There we go. Husband tells her, you need to go over to the right a little bit. She tries to go over the right, but they don't move. And he's worried about the PVC pipe with the brake lights on it there. He shakes his head like, nah, come on. She resets a little bit, gets it in there, brings that motor around straight. She got that little bit of wind pushing her over to the left a little bit. I think that's the problem. So right now, we've got a pretty good slack tide. It's nice and easy right through here. He tells her to stop. He's going to hook it up. Stop. Stop. He can shut it off. That's what he's saying right now. He's ready to get out here. And you can see him walking back to the truck. He's going to pull this one out. And I think they're pretty good. Well, here we go. Disappearing Island brings all kinds of crowds out here. And this one here, they just don't like using anchors and resetting their boat when the tide starts sucking out. They were set up and they were going to stay there. Generally, you only got to wait six hours. Well, the problem is, the next tide coming in was three feet lower than the previous tide, so I wonder how they got themselves out of here. Well, the jet skiers had enough. They're getting ready to get themselves out of here, and man, I'll tell you what, scrubbing that sand all over the bottom of gel coat, I think I prove. Whoa, there we go. Oh, he busted his butt there. And it's always good to put the one with the most pull at the back of the tug-of-war rope. And they went ahead and did the little celebratory dance there. And I'll tell you what, you got about 20 more feet before you all can start celebrating in two more boats. And they definitely need to take one of them much needed rest before they get onto this one. Well, there we go. That right there is going to need some jet ski power behind it right there. But all in all, I don't think he's really using that much power. Looks like he's just putting along, but it seems to be working. Everybody's got a good push there, scrub that gel coat off, and I have a feeling they're going to get out of there. I guess the jet ski got a little tired right there. Either that or the people that were pushing that was doing everything, was doing everything. And he falls again. I'll tell you what, he's prone. That's his third time. Well, that seems to be it. I don't know what happened to those other boats up there on the sandbar, but I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.